Welcome to 21st Century Competencies in Action, Planning Instruction for 21st Century Learners. In this video series, you'll see examples of learning activities facilitated by teachers in Washoe County School District that help our students develop the competencies they will need to be college and career ready in the 21st century and demonstrate mastery of the content and skills articulated in the Nevada Academic Content Standards. Based on a three-year global research study into innovative teaching and learning conducted by Microsoft Partners in Learning, Washoe County School District has adopted a framework that includes six dimensions of 21st century learning, collaboration, knowledge construction, real-world problem solving and innovation, the use of technology for learning, self-regulation, and skilled communication. This video focuses on the 21st century learning dimension of self-regulation. Students are regulating themselves when they are engaged in long-term activities in which they have some control over the planning of their work and the process of carrying out the work and have the opportunity to improve their work over multiple iterations. The self-regulation elevator identifies three 21st century competencies. As you watch the video, be on the lookout for examples of students engaging in long-term activities where students have clear learning goals and success criteria, planning and carrying out their own work with the learning goals and success criteria in mind and monitoring their progress, and having the opportunity to obtain meaningful feedback that allows them to revise, adjust, and improve their work prior to submitting or finalizing it. And you're going to need your cell phones today, but no headphones so you don't drop them into the crime scene. So today we're working a crime scene, goes along with our student learning intention, which is the use the proper steps to break down a crime scene, photograph evidence, collect and package evidence. Everybody cool with this? All right. So you've got to get in your teams. All of your kits are back there. And anything you guys need, tape measures, scissors, markers, gloves, evidence, evidence bags, all right there. So you're in teams of three. You have 30 minutes to break this down. But there's something new. You have it in front of you. It's on a clipboard. This is a checkoff sheet for you guys to score yourselves. One person in your group is scoring you guys as a group, not anybody else, just your group. And when you're scoring that, this is what you got to have. When you're scoring it, it's a plus, which is full points. Half is half points, and zero is no points. So if you do it, then you get plus. If you kind of do it, half. If you don't do it, zero. Understand? Okay, so the list helps you guys get back into it because I know we haven't done a crime scene since December. So this is a really good practice run for all of us. This will get you guys back into communicating and getting your guys focused for the final in May. So I'm going to do a couple because this has been a good uh, gauge for me to see where you guys are. So today it's mostly trace evidence. You have a missing person. So you guys really have to collect evidence well and you get 30 minutes. That's it. <laughs> so, one of you, if Taylor's gonna be that, are you? I'm just looking at the camera. Stop. Okay, but I'm gonna take half for now. Yeah, there's not much evidence in there, so you shouldn't yeah, need open. You're probably going to have to hand me. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Do you have a blank piece of paper? Can get that up? Okay. <laughs> Alright, G10, do we have to work together to just put all the marker down, you know? Yeah. Alright. So one of the things on the clipboard is photograph the evidence. Remember we took two last time. You're like, hey, where's the sticker? I got you. Entrance. Don't worry. I know. The entrance to the on this hey, thing. Hey, okay. don't think that's funny because today, this morning, do we need each team? These are the leaders. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We did. We did. Uh, no. Each team doesn't uh, need a picture. Actually, I don't need a pencil. There are stickers, so yeah. fold it in. Like it. Okay. This is good. Okay. Okay. Is there a signing sheet? Signing yeah. sheet's over there. Okay. 
Micah's always ready to go in. Micah, you first. You're going in. Who's taking pictures with you? Isaiah. Isaiah and G10. We're, we're splitting up this. Okay, so spot it. You guys know what to do. You guys are on it. Okay. You're going to walk in with that? No. Oh, oh, yeah, I want to go back. Mark, or someone else can go through. Yeah, there's someone. I got like Matt. Maybe. He's doing back packaging. Are you ready? Yeah. G10, establish your pattern so you guys know which way you guys are going to go. Grid. So we use yeah, we'll just go with the way that we walk. If I miss something. What's the first piece of evidence? Blood. What? Uh, beyond. What? Blood. Taylor. Number one. Blood. Got it. Someone needs to write that down. There you go. So number one's blood. Did you guys take a picture of that? I'm on it. Okay, take a picture first and then put the marker. Remember your rules. Okay, two is hair. Number two is hair. What? Hey, Kale. Yes. What's case number? Case number seven. Seven. Seven period. Three is two blood drops. There you go. Number four is one blood drop. The number five is dirt, soil. soil. You see in the pink box, Julie? The pink box. I think I just go to those blood drops. Okay, number six is blood drops. Uh, number seven is blood drop. You guys two are going to go with Number five is soil. Okay. And then number eight is core casing. Hand it to me. So he has a tripod. I'm missing something just like that. Yeah. <laughs> fibers or anything. So there's some hair right here. So number 20 is hair. Four feet, two inches. Number one, three feet, one inch from the north wall. Okay. Three feet, one inch? Yes. Thanks, Taylor. Appreciate that. Evidence number three, distance from west wall. Hey, I give other team to help those guys measure. Five feet, nine inches. Thirteen inches from west wall, four feet, two inches. Okay, what if I just stand down? Yeah, it's okay. This is why we're doing it. What's the size? Uh, four from west wall. Um, not west wall, south pitch. Five. It's a nineteen. Okay. Uh, blood. Blood. Sixteen from the south wall. Twelve feet, nine inches. 
12 from south wall, 9 feet, half an inch. Fifteen feet south wall. We have eleven feet. Thirteen. Okay. Yes. And then twelve. Also five. Okay. 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 I just wanted to make sure because they were just sitting. I thought that's weird that they're just sitting. All right, no worries. Bye bye. Taylor, how's the packaging going? Good. Number 13 from the south wall. 10 feet, 7 inches. You have 6 minutes remaining. You have 14, right? Yeah, Jonathan's got 14 right now. Okay. Uh, 14. 19. Hold on. 19 from south wall. Four corners, four walls. Tiana, can you give me more little orange? 19 from the south wall is 11 inches. I mean, 11 feet, 6 inches. Well, let's give it over. Evidence. Did you label it what it was? No. Yeah, it's fine. No, but she got it though. Yeah, I got it. We got it. It's fine. Okay, so we can go. Yeah, we're fine. I just need to get 23. 23? Okay, it was from the west wall. 33 inches. There's no south. There we go. Yeah, I have no clue. What's number eight? Number eight from west is seven feet, 11 inches. 11 inches? Yeah. Actually, it's two right. feet, five inches for the south And wall. from north two wall? Two feet, five inches. Yeah. Two feet, five inches? Yeah. And then what number did you need? Seven. Or no, eight. Okay. Eight from west is seven feet, 11 inches. Okay. And, and then from, from south? south? 11 feet, six inches. Okay. Oh, put it in that bin. Put the bin by my little uh, stool. And six inches? Yeah. Whose tape measure is over here? Teal? Is this number the tape measure? Number nine from West. Does that have to be? You just have to cutting. remember the room, too. Uh, it's fine. This is just the canteen. Yeah, it's fine. We can read so it. for number nine from west, it's just four feet. Four feet? Yeah. We didn't do it. Uh, and then for south, it's six feet, 11 inches. Six feet? So I just graded on what we did. And then 11 inches? Or what John did. Um, yeah. Okay. That was number nine. Yeah. Yeah. I got medium. Okay. West, two feet. What? Oh, wait, what was nine? Is it nine is four feet or two feet? So nine, nine is four feet. Four feet. Yeah. Uh, well done on breaking down the crime scene. The evidence packaging was done well. Um, Taylor, nice job making sure that it was completed well. So, question, how many blood samples did you get? Like how many? There's about 10. I think you've got them. Okay, good. All right, you guys will be working on finishing up your crime scene sketch, your uh, measurements were done pretty well. A couple times what I saw that I would think about is make sure you sign in and sign out if you move out of the crime scene. That's one. The next piece that you guys need to work on is that we can use the range finder and we won't have to use the tape measure. Yeah, a range finder sits up against the wall. It's all digital so that you guys get a, how far it is exactly. So I have it. I've just been waiting for you guys to get better. That's okay. That's good. Next, if you are photographing your evidence, these are the things that we need to improve. Do you put the marker down first or do you photograph it first? Okay, so Isaiah, you should have been first and then telling the, and taking pictures. G10, you should have been putting down the markers and the next person behind you guys should be taking the pictures with it. 
with the marker. So otherwise, really good note taking that people took down all of the measurements. So you guys have good measurements. I saw some rough crime scene sketches starting out. Tiana's working on hers right now. So overall, I think that you guys did a good job. Did you like guys doing this? Yes. Okay. So this was kind of good practice. You feel rusty? Yeah. It was you guys were a little bit rusty, but that's okay. This was a good one before we do our next one. Next one, I'll add some more. What's that? Um. No, I think you got it all. Did you get the dog hair and the human hair? Yeah, we got all. Good. That was good. The handprint is what the fingerprints were really big that you guys got. So that's a big piece of evidence that goes in here because that goes to the lab. Suspect gets identified. Now you have a name. Now you can go, why were you in this room? What happened? Who's missing? You know, kind of throwing the pieces together. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, so that's important to consider when you guys are doing that. Um, we've only got a minute, so please put up the chairs for Mr. Kale. Nice job today.